Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I have a special project I'm working on. I have a, a collaboration piece between myself and Green Beetle Knives. Some of you may have heard of him. Definitely worth a follow, go check him out. He has been kind enough to send me a very intricate piece of Damascus steel that he forged by hand, which is just super impressive. And uh, I'm forging it out into a blade and I'm gonna be doing the rest of the work for it and we're gonna be auctioning that off later. I'm trying to keep the forging to a minimal on this knife because I don't forge Damascus steel that often and Steve has put so much effort into this piece that I really don't want it to have any splits or delaminations or anything like that. So I'm working it fairly hot the entire time and just trying to minimize the risk of any negative things happening to it. Here we have the design, the handle material, and guard and spacer materials. Like I said, I'm trying to keep the forging to a minimal, so I'm cutting off the excess from the blade based off of the shape that I drew out before grinding and filing. Now we're gonna go ahead and profile it on my <laughs> way too large belt sander. Probably gonna get roasted for that, but it is what it is. Using my Bill Benneke file guide to file down the shoulders to ensure that we have a really nice clean fit of, uh, of the guard to the blade. So we've got both my initials and Green Beetle's initials, which I think is pretty cool. This is made from melted bullet shells, so pretty cool stuff. So right now we have just filed or uh, just sanded down the uh, the guard, making it flat and square. Now we're gonna go ahead and hand sand this knife. Putting our lines in on our guard, drilling away. This is where it would be really nice to have a mill, but I'm doing it the old school way and it pays off. So now we're shaping the guard down. So I have the guard and the spacer fit on nice and tight. I have this beautiful block of ringed gidji. That I'm going to be making the handle out of. And uh, I said I don't have a mill, but I kind of use my drill press as a mill anyway. But this part is super satisfying because it fits right where it needs to. And that doesn't happen that often, so it was a, a pleasant surprise. Sanding that curve on the guard. Sanding is never my favorite thing to do, but it's pretty much the only way to get the, the results that I want, so I will live with it. So I'm drilling my pinhole while my block is still square, because if I don't, then, uh, then it'll be off-center. And now, more hand sanding. We've got everything fit together. Using some good old JB weld. And there she is. All glued up. This 
has been a really, really fun project. I'm very thankful to Steve for being willing to collaborate with me on this and being patient with, uh, <laughs> with my very poor time management skills. So big shout out to him. Thank you very much. This is going to be auctioned off for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And uh, there's going to be an auction on eBay for it. So if you have the chance, please go check it out and place a bid. Thank you very much, everybody.